Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first day of Earth Science. So in your Edmodo, you are going to scroll down until you find 813 branches of Earth Science. Okay. Here is the attached PDF that you are going to complete the questions. Um, make sure you complete the questions and either send them to me via email or you can take a picture of them and send them that way. So my email is right here and we will have a link for the reading. So that goes over the subject we're going over today. So we are starting with the branches of earth science. So in earth science, we have a few branches. So we have five that we're gonna go over and they each have little specialties within them. So we start off with geology. So geology is gonna be the study of the solid earth. So geologists are gonna look at things like how rocks and minerals form, the way mountains form, the way mountains erode, um, just anything having to do with the solid earth. Um, they're also going to look at earth's interior to look and study um, the inner layers of the earth as well. So within geology, you have a few specializations. You have volcanologists, obviously they study volcanoes. You have seismologists who study earthquakes and they help to try and predict when an earthquake is going to happen and where. Um, and then you might get some that study soil. Our next branch is oceanography. So oceanography is obviously the study of the oceans. Um, it would be a little more accurate to say oceanology because ology means the study of instead of graph, which um, oceanography would be translated to ocean graph. But oceanography actually started out as mapping the oceans. Um, so more than 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. So there's tons of water to study. And there is a lot of the ocean that we have yet to explore. So any depths that a human cannot safely go to, they will use a remote vehicle um, to study what is down there. So oceanography, like geology, has its specializations. So you have physical oceanography, which is the study of the water movement. So waves, ocean currents, um, study of predicting when a tsunami is gonna hit. Uh, marine geologists look at rocks and mountains and stuff that are in the oceans. Um, and there are a few other specialization branches of oceanography. So next we have meteorology and climatology. So meteorology means the study of weather or the study of the atmosphere. So meteorologists are going to study weather patterns, clouds, severe weather events, um, and they are going to try and predict the weather using radar and satellites. So radar is actually the most accurate way to predict the weather. And you can only accurately predict it about seven days out. After that, it gets less and less accurate which is why we have the seven day forecast. Climatologists um, study the atmosphere, but they study the weather long term. So weather is what's happening now, um, just an isolated event. And climate is kind of the general trend of weather. So there have been um, natural changes in climate throughout Earth's history. Um, there's been warming periods, there's been cooling periods. So climatologists um, study these changes. 
Next, we go to environmental science. So environmental scientists are going to study the effects people have on their environment. So the effect we have on the land, the water, the air, the living things, all of those things. Um, and they try to predict what would happen, say, if part of an ecosystem were disrupted. Last but not least is astronomy. So astronomy is the study of outer space. That is everything beyond um, the Earth's atmosphere. So astronomers are going to use things like telescopes and satellites and spacecrafts um, to study space. So when there's something that they can't safely go into space to study, that's when they're going to use telescopes and satellites and all those things. All right. And I believe that is all. So make sure you do your questions and email them to me.